Hi there, this is Honey Business with your friend Simeon. You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry that I've been away for a while. I just have to keep up with some things uh, that are personal. So that's the reason why I've not been dropping you videos on this same YouTube channel. But nevertheless, let's start with this very video. How to take care of a pregnant pig till they give birth and also how to inject the pregnant pig with uh, iron injection. That is what we want to talk about, particularly in this very video. So one of the pig with me just gave birth a few days ago. I'm supposed to make the video, but I don't have the chance, the time to do the video. And in one of my YouTube video, a subscriber asked me to talk about how to use iron injection, uh, which I'm going to really talk about it here in this video. How you can use it, why you should use it, the quantity to be used for the size of pig or rather the weight of pig you can use it for is what we are going to discuss you know i'm not a veterinary doctor it's just a little experience that i have about injection is what i'm going to dish out for you but let's start from uh, taking care of your pregnant pig it is very easy once you cross your pig if you meet the female pig uh, with a male pig within three days is enough you should be able to stay there at least to have assurance of mating you don't expect your pig to be mating for two hours for three hours for 30 minutes or all this no it doesn't happen like that it's just within one minute once the uh, semen is passed once the male climbed the female successfully and the female did not shake body it doesn't disturb the male and uh, there was a contact between the two of them within just uh, 30 seconds the male can ejaculate and pass the semen from himself to the female so if you have that assurance even one of the assurance that will make you know is when you are seeing the semen on the floor because there's no how the male meets with the female that you are not going to see the, the semen i'm talking about the sperm on the ground inside the floor of your pig house it's a must you are going to see the semen so once you see that you should know that there is a successful mating however to avoid failure you can leave the female with the male for something like three days three days is enough two three days is enough but at least watch yourself for instance those who have workers at the farm and you leave everything in the hands of your workers not all of them care about what you are doing over there majority of them cares about getting their money and that's all so if you really want to bring something out of your farm if you want to be very very productive at least find a little time to stay it won't take you more than 10 15 minutes to make sure that your pig are well crossed so you stay once you take the female i usually advise and i usually tell you take the female to the male not the male to the female always take the female to the male so once that happens you stay there and make sure you watch at least one or twice to just be assured that yes the male successfully mates with the female once that is done you can take the female out of the male house just for the male to rest and be assured the male is not going to cross the female once no within the very short day you leave them even within that very day you put the male there it might really climb the female something like three four five times depending on how active the male is so if that happened then you cannot take it with the female to our room after you keep her in our room you keep taking care of her you give her you see for those who are asking uh what kind of food can i give although if you really want to formulate feed for a pregnant pig you can do that if you want to formulate a special feed for your uh, winners the baby pigs you can do that but if you have a healthy feed you are giving to your pigs so all categories of pig can take it either the winners or the pregnant or the boar all i advise mostly is you you know your boy is not going to give birth your boy is only available to mate so you should reduce the quantity of food you give to your boar per day just to reduce fat once your uh, boar is growing faster or rather is having too much fat in its body the boar activity will really reduce it will reduce and also you don't have to have a single boar servicing up to five or ten uh female pig in your farm the boar will get weak in time 
So in no time, it will get weak. So you should have at least two or three boa in your farm. So if you are having numbers of pigs, so that you can at least, if you have up to uh, 10, 15 uh, female, if, and you have something like two uh, male, they will be able to uh, do the business for you successfully whenever time you take them to the boa. So that is not what we want to talk about today. So once you have your... Uh, female pig cross it is easy to know at least first assurance is you watch them cross each other successfully then within the very first month you are going to see the tilt i think the yes that's the nipple of the female shooting out that is the first sign and also you will notice that uh, the female is no longer coming on it it's no longer coming on it. If you check the vulva, you are going to see that uh, the female is no longer coming on it. And also the clitoris, uh, which is uh, at the top of the vulva, will point, will point, I think it will point up. Yes, it will go up. It will no longer come down. It will go up. So, and the enlargement of the vulva as well will reduce. So, that is just how to know if your... Uh, female pig is pregnant after crossing when it's going to something like uh, two months going to three months that is when you are going to see the belly shooting out as for the very first month if you are not a professional you won't know that your uh, female pig is pregnant until you can be able to figure out all these all these things yourself all these factors if you can figure it out yourself that is when you can have this deep assurance that yes your pig is pregnant and will be and we deliver in so so day. So once you have them like that, you keep on feeding them the normal feed you are giving them. There is no special feed to a pregnant pig. So you give them the normal feed they are eating. If you are feeding them with grasses such as or leaves such as uh, all these uh, uh, potato leaves or any other leaves you are giving them, but you have to stay away from a uh, purple leaf because it's a kind of antibodies which might likely tackle the pregnancy the pig is carrying and if you have been using it and it doesn't have effect then you are good to go so if you are giving them leaves you continue giving the female the pregnant the one you already crossed you give the female you give her the leaves others are eating the feed they are eating before it has no any uh effects any reverse effects on the uh, pig so far it's what uh, she has been eating before you cross her, so there's no problem at all. Except the food is poisonous. So that is how you feed. You feed, you feed until the pig uh, grow to the point of, you know, uh, delivering. A quick notice, please, swine fever, African swine fever is flying all over in Nigeria now. You should be very, very careful on how to go to people's farm and how you come back to your farm, not washed off and not changing your clothes. It's not good. If you visit any pig farm as i'm talking to you right now it's been happening for almost two months now in nigeria even in my area everywhere it has been happening so you have to be very very careful because swine fever works with ear majority of times and when you go to people's farm that are affected please first of all go to your house yes first of all go to your house uh tie it up yourself wash yourself and change your clothes before you go to your own farm and if it is possible your shoe that you took to that farm disinfect it before you take it to your own farm so that you can be free from swine fever swine fever is not a good thing to face in pig farming you might likely lose all the piglets or, or rather all the pigs you have in your farm okay let's come back to our discussion after that you take care of your pregnant pigs until they deliver so when they now deliver is there any special feed you are going to give the pig no there is no special feed so far it's what has been eaten before that is what you are going to keep giving the pig even after delivery but there are some situations whereby there are some pigs that after they give birth they will no longer eat it's just as simple as as it happens to human it happens to animal like that too there are some pigs that will give birth and at the end of the day the feed you give them will be smelling to them they wouldn't want to eat they wouldn't want to do anything with the food and they'll be lying down you might likely think maybe something is happening to the pigs but it's not like that it's just that uh, our tummy is not open to eat and the the, the pig she she has to eat you you have to feed her with something or the other you don't need to panic this is just a simple thing to do if you are facing this kind of situation in your farm just go to the market 
go to all these uh, house people or rather fruit seller at the market get plenty of fruit especially get pineapple especially if you don't get any other food get pineapple especially slice it even if you get other fruits with them with the pineapple the first thing you are going to do is get the pineapple slice it into you don't need to peel it you don't have problem peeling it people eat it just slice it and throw it inside the house of the uh, already delivered pig so when you put it inside she's going to sniff it and from there she will come she will pick it within a very few hours her tummy will be opened to eat because that is what the pineapple would do so after that you can throw every other fruit you get it's not necessary you get a fresh one you can get the one that are half rotten from those seller so you throw it inside she eat it then you can get her either soccer leaf like um, banana leaf or plantain leaf or rather you get her potato leaf so once you feed with that within that very day, introduce the food to her again, she's going to pick up from there and she will continue eating. So there is no special food except you want someone to deceive you. So far you have a very good formula, you are good to go with whatever situation you are facing in the farm with the pig that just delivered. So you are going to be okay with it. So that is how you'll be taking care of them. And if you're having workers uh, with you at the farm that are working for you, you have to tell them why you go home they should be attending to the uh pig and the piglet you know the mother pig will be attending to her because majority of them are not good mother they don't know how to take care of their piglet so i might step on them some might sleep on them so and some of these piglet might tend to be weak so if you are not there to attend to them on time, some of them will likely die. So you, when they deliver like that, you have to be very, very close to them. And if you are not available, if you have your workers at the farm, then your workers have to be very, very uh, close to them. If they hear any noise from their rooms, they have to rush there to check what is going on. Either the mother has stamped on the baby or rather... Uh, she has slept on the baby or rather maybe something is happening to the baby so that it will be easier to correct whatever error that might lead to death in the farm which will also lead to your own frustration having spent a lot of money then having the pig the liver and at the end of the day still losing the piglet so it's not a good thing to your worker should be very very close to them that is how to uh, meat that is how to take care of pregnant pig and also how to take care of already delivered uh, pregnant pig so what are we going to do continuously now in terms of injection uh, um, and that is what i meant by iron injection so it is necessary after 162 hours or rather 100 let me say between 160 to 165 hours it is necessary for you to inject it is necessary for you to inject your peak, uh, the mother peak, with two injections mainly. And also, it is necessary to inject your piglet, no matter the number, with one injection mainly. You are going to give the mother peak the iron injection, and you are going to give the piglet iron injection round. You are going to give the mother oxo, oxtocin. In few cases, it is not necessary to give the mother peak oxtocin. What is the work of oxtocin? Oxytocin is just a drug that helps increase the quantity of milk in the uh, teeth, that is in the breast, so that the baby, the available number of baby will be able to suck to their satisfaction. It will increase it so that the baby can take more of the milk. It won't just be something they are managing to survive on. So that is the work of oxytocin. So if you can do all these things, rather if you can ingest your pigs like this, you can get a veterinary doctor to do that because some pigs, when they deliver like that, they tend to be very, very aggressive that you cannot close to them, talk less of injecting them. So you need someone to pet them. Unlike my own situation, I have to pet the pig, pet the pig, pet the pig. Even it gets to some point that I take the camera off, I have to rough handle the pig to inject her with iron. So in situation like this, you have to be very, very careful. You pet the pig before you inject them. Even most of the time, uh, they can be more 
uh, friendly with people that are attending to them at the farm than you that is not attending to them, that is not coming closer to them often. So you have to be very, very careful if you want to do that. And if you want to eject the pig with the oxytocins or whatever, it's either you do it at the armpit or rather you do it at a buttock at the back. When it comes to injection like that, you can also use multivitamin. You can inject the pig with multivitamin too. It's good and it will also help the pig. Unlike my case, I inject. I don't have the oxytocin at the farm, although I was waiting for the veterinary doctor, but I have to do this on my own. So I use uh, this uh, 5%. This 5% also have ox oxytocin. It has just a little level of oxytocin in it, so I use that. And I also use vitamin to help the pig live very good. Then I inject with uh, this thing also, iron also. So those are the things to do. If if you are you can I really do not know because I'm still learning from my veterinary doctor. If if it comes to any uh, soft drugs like that, you can inject on the neck too. But when it comes to antibiotics, it's usually at the back because uh, according to what they told me, he said they don't like it at the uh, if they don't like it intramuscular. I think that's that's what they call it. I'm not a veterinary doctor. You have to think that. So that is how to inject the pig and also the baby pig you have to pack everything out because you cannot inject the baby pig inside the room with your mother if you don't want to be attacked so you have to pack them out easily gently put them in a bath where they won't be running up and down then you inject one by one and put them place them inside if you want to place them inside too gently do that because if you rough handle or rather throw them down due to the aggressions of their mother trying to uh, collect to get a, a piglet back and being aggressive you might really throw some of the piglets down and that will lead to death mortality in the farm you remember this pig within that very hour at just two days to three days so you have to be very very careful how you do it now what is the work of the iron because i already explained the one of also seeing the iron is to strengthen the weakness but the bones everything are going to be okay even the body and anything that has to do with weakness will be getting rid of if you ingest the pig with your iron so if you have a pig that is weighing between that 50 to 100 kg at least uh two to three meal is enough you don't need to inject her with too much uh, iron two to three meal is enough compared to the one i did the uh, five percent i inject the pig with also have uh, some little percentage of iron so I, I didn't increase it to three i only use two meal instead of three meal so you should understand how all these drugs work so if you do not have the oxytocin you can also use the five percent but you still need the oxytocin so if you're having between that 50 to 100 at least you use three meal for the adult now your baby piglets they are just three days i've had people complain that they after injecting their piglets that they die maybe the iron you use or rather your veterinary doctor use is too much or rather maybe you did not take care of them very well unlike these piglets now i use 0 0.5 meal it's not up to one meal so I use 0 0.5 and that is enough for them. Even while I ingest them, they were busy shaking. That means they received something, they got something hot in their body. So if the level of iron or rather the quantity of iron you are ingesting the baby pig with is too much, it might really bring a reverse problem to their health or rather to their body. And this might really lead to death mortality. All these things are the things you are supposed to put together. One reason a mother pig that just delivered an uh, babies i think that is all i have to discuss with you in this particular video if you still have anything you want me to treat or if there is anything you don't understand in this very video please you can drop a comment so that i can look into it and also elaborate or expand more on it so that is all about the video thank you for watching my name is simeon o james if you want to reach out to me on whatsapp you can see the number there i really do not take much calls on phone like before again so you can easily text me on WhatsApp. Thank you for watching.